Okay, so here we go for Hot Wheels haul number 10. Yeah, a bit of a different one today. This uh, haul consists entirely of op shop finds. Yeah, so let's begin. First off the list is, actually I should say, these came in bags of five or so cars for a couple of dollars. So yeah, picked up a several bags. So anyway, first off the list is the Plymouth Super, uh, yeah, Superbird B46. What is B? I'll have to look that up. A few years old by now though. Pretty good condition, that one. Ferrari Ooh, 365 GTB slash 4. This one's all metal, top and bottom. Wheels are a bit bent or something, but uh, yeah, all metal. That's pretty cool. Jaguar. Some kind of Jaguar. Don't know my Jaguar models that much. That well, I should say. It's okay condition. Plastic bottom. A bone shaker. That's cool. From G year. Whatever year G is, I'll have to look it up. That's pretty good condition. Some random piece of junk. The Matchbox school bus. Spooty. Scooty. <laughs> Real toy Mercedes CLK Coupe. Quite a, quite a good model, nice scale. Never heard of real toy before, but looks like they make some decent models. A uh, majorette, Auto Bianchi, but Bianchi, made in France. Check that out. That's all metal as well. Opening rear door, or a hatch, I should say. Looks like it had a, some sort of toe point ripped off of it. An old plastic Hot Wheels. This is uh, from McDonald's. I see the super, no, sorry, just the treasure hunt flame sticker on it. Not sure what the deal with that is, being in a cheapo McDonald's old plastic toy. Rolls pretty average. This one's cool. Matchbox, Formula One. <laughs> That's a nice, good condition model. Rolls pretty well too. And yeah, NASA truck transporter thing transporter vehicle here you go We're from matchbox not sure what's meant to go on the back we got a ferrari f50 i think my favorite ferrari of all time is an f40 so that'd be cool to find one of them but yeah this is cool again that's all metal as well i'm not sure what year that is got a porsche 935 from matchbox Wheels have had a bit of drift action all around. Copped a few stacks, but it's a pretty cool body. It's an awesome model, actually. That's cool. It's a bit of wear and tear, but it's a cool model. Not sure what this guy is. Just has Hot Wheels. All metal, though. A bit of weight to it. Carries a bit of momentum. Ferrari P4. Matte black paint job. Not bad condition. That was right. And we've got the Mitsubishi Eclipse concept car that says Bigu Roboto in Japanese. And what do you know, it has a big robot on it. <laughs> Pure white paint, not bad. Next we have the Volkswagen Beetle Taxi from Matchbox. The Matchbox Snail Truck. Matchbox Snail Truck. <laughs> That's pretty funky. Like these have copped a bit of wear and tear, the old, uh, in, what are those things called? <laughs> Whatever those things are called on a snail. <laughs> Oh, you've got a Volvo uh, truck. No, oh, it just says Volvo. Okay. Just a Volvo truck. Flatbed truck. Does it fit a car on it? You know what? We'll put the next car on there that I found. Yeah, the next car is a Mini. I'm pretty stoked about this one because I actually have another one of them and this one is in better condition. Not too bad when it comes in a bag for 2 to $3. A bag of five. You pay $3 just for this. Easy. Racing Mini. Here's my other one. I don't know where I got this one. But this has copped a fair bit more wear. 
and a custom paint job from someone years ago. Yeah, this still has the original paint, albeit somewhat chipped off. Awesome. These roll really well too, these old matchboxes. That's my original one. Oh, <laughs> pretty good. Oh yeah, here we go. Put it on the back of this Volvo. Here's a scale of things. <laughs> For some reason, I don't think they're in the same scale. <laughs> what is the scale? 1 to 90 on the truck. Yeah, it doesn't have it written on the matchbox. I thought they usually had it written. Anyway, <laughs> it's obviously a slightly bigger scale. Next, we've got the Shredder. Always turn these the wrong way around. Hot Wheels Shredder. That's uh, got a bit of weight to it for its size. Hmm. That was alright. A bit rough. Although this bench isn't very flat. It's got a bit of texture on it. Yeah, the next is the Volkswagen Microbus matchbox. Some sort of zoo circus paint job on the side. Pretty trippy looking. But I guess it's a van. You've got to have some sort of trippy paint job on a van. Next up is a. Uh, Something with wobbly wheels, check them out. <laughs> Matchbox Beetle 4x4. 4x4. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Next up is the Matchbox Beach Patrol. Weird buggy thing. Pretty fragile shell on this, it's all plastic. Metal base, but... Oh, screws. That's interesting. I don't know if that's genuine. Anyway, does that go? Yeah, this is a no-name brand race car of some kind. Don't know if it's trying to be a NASCAR. It's got a bit of wear. King of Road. <laughs> kind of rolls. Yeah, we've got another no-name brand. Looks like a Honda CRX. Yep. Oh, check out that wheel. I don't know, scale on that's not too bad. Just those wheels are pretty rough, obviously. <laughs> They're gone. Front struts are a bit shot. Next is a Matchbox Flare Side Pickup. This is, this is cool. A bit of weight to it, although it's plastic bottom, but yeah, just a reasonably large body. Although one of the rear wheels, I think, yeah, it's a bit broken. Still rolls well, though. Pretty well. This. Kind of fit it in the frame. But it's big. Some sort of transporter. I don't think the truck's actually Matchbox branded. So I couldn't see Matchbox written on it anyway. Hot Wheels on Matchbox, I should say. Anyway, let's see what's inside. The Impavido. Impavido? Impavido? Interesting model. The Asphalt Assault. Cadillac V16. Yeah, I got excited when I first saw these because, again, I saw these little treasure hunt stickers on or pick, uh, decals or whatever. But they're just junky Hot Wheels McDonald's toys. They feel very cheap. plastic -y. Yeah, this is cool. Riley and Scott Mark III. That's tough. It's like a Le Mans style racer. And we've got a NASCAR of some kind. That doesn't say. Hot Wheels NASCAR. That's cool. NASCARs are tough. Drift King. It's got a bit of weight in it. I wonder if it drifts. We'll try that out later. This is this is pretty awesome. It looks like it's got. I don't know. I thought it had rubber tires for a second. Awesome wheels on it. Bit of gunk in that back one. To clean that out. Ferrari two eight eight GTO. That is awesome. Actually, I don't think I've had any Ferraris in my collection up until, until this uh, haul. Plymouth Duster. Grower. Every part for power. Interesting. Hmm. Obviously got too much torque, it's worn out the engine mounts. A 62 Ford Mustang Concept. Yep, that looks about right for a concept car from the 60s. Interesting shape. Dodge Charger SRT8. Bit of a tuned look to it, I guess you'd say. <laughs> bit short. That's pretty cool. Off track. Yes. Interesting, uh, just raw plastic finish on it with some decals. Or tampos, I should say. All metal base. An epic 
Is that what it's called? Rocket box. It just says epic on it. It's interesting. Stubby little guy. Terrell P34. These are pretty cool. It's a pretty funky race car. All metal models. Oh no. Oh, base is plastic. Okay. Now this truck has two sides to it. Go down the bottom here. We've got about a bunch of warning signs and stuff. Which is hats. They're kind of cool. 44 gallon drum. Direction signs. What's that? Roundabout. They're not too exciting. Start at the bottom this time. What have we got there? Oh, this feels like it's all metal. Hot wheels. Not sure what that is. We've got a bit of weight to it. Oh, a bit of a buckled rear wheel. It's had a bit of had a bit of drift wear as well, like most of these cars. Not sure what that is. Pretty cool off-road truck though. Rolls well. Oh, these junk plastic McDonald's cars. Don't know if anyone collects these. Made for McDonald's. This one's in good condition. It's barely, I don't think there's any scratches on it. I think it's some random model. Nitro tailgater, okay. Drag parachute at the back. Volkswagen Beetle. Looks like it's gonna flip back on itself. <laughs> 07 Chevy Tahoe. I've got a later one of these. This has got an all metal top, but the, the other one has an all, uh, all plastic top with a metal base. This is the other way around. Definitely a lot heavier. Ooh, this feels like an old guy. All metal. Check that guy out. Looks like the winch, windscreen's uh, broken off. Or been pushed down into it. I think it's just snapped off. Hot Wheels Mercedes 540K. Oh, 1982. I wonder when this was actually made. Oh, missing a bit of front detail there as well. Star Wars theme. Pony Up. Does that sound the side? Dagobah. <laughs> so we've got a torque twister. Wow. Hmm. Cool little model. Good condition. Looks like it'd go all right. Hmm. No, nah, rolls pretty average. Mig rig. Huh. Mig rig. Okay, it is called a mig rig. Little plastic top. Thought it was metal for a moment before. Before I picked it up. It's a pretty tough little truck. Mid engine to truck. Interesting. Oh, Chevelle. Oh, Chevelle. 1970s Chevrolet Chevelle SS. It's a pretty tough car. Got a new one of them. One that came in the night burners uh, pack. All some white flares and stuff that look tough as. Finally, we've got the Vandetta. Interesting. It's not really a van. Ooh, a bit of a pentaxle as well. And that's everything. Okay. Bit of a longer one there, but we've got a whole heap of cars in those bags from uh, the op shop. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you next time.